So here is a good look at the heavy duty paper trimmer. That's the handle to trim the paper with. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna set the camera over here so that you can see how I am trimming the paper. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm cutting this is move this bar to whatever place I need to cut. So in this case, I need to measure, I think I'm cutting at seven and five eighths, yeah. I'm gonna put myself a little chart by this trimmer one day so that I don't have to measure it every time. But because I can't see the cut marks when they're under the blade, I have to figure out the first cut. And if you want me to explain that a little further, let me know in the comments below. But I'm gonna just slide the insert in, make sure it's flush against this top bar and the side bar, and then release the safety and pull the arm down and cut. And so, as you can see, I've made my first trim. Then, now is where knowing the size of your um, inserts comes in handy. Okay, I'm trying to move the phone up a little bit so you can see a little more of what I'm doing. So anyway, we've already done this cut. And now I know that personal size is three and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I wanna go ahead and cut the other uh, end off. So I'm gonna set this at six and three quarters. So we can do that cut. Tighten it. And I'm going to put my insert in here. Make sure it's flush up against both bars. And roll down this piece that holds the paper in place. Release the safety. And bring the blade down and cut it. Let's lift this up. And slide it out. And you can see you got a nice clean cut. So now I'm gonna cut this portion here. And that's gonna be at three and three quarters inches. So we're gonna move our bar to that measurement. Make sure it's lined up. Tighten it. Slide this under. Insert flush and do our cut. And with the, this heavy duty um, paper trimmer, the more paper you cut, the better it cuts. So if you're only cutting one or two sheets, it doesn't cut that great. But if you're cutting a lot of paper, it cuts really well. Um, and this is our finished insert, at least for the inside part. Okay, so here is the cut insert and it's ready for a cover and to start using. This is what it looks like. And it just goes on and on until we get to the last pages. Okay, so I did decide against the buffalo plaid. I am going to go ahead and use this for my cover. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it down. And again, if you were doing a regular notebook, you would go ahead and attach the cover to it. But I decided not to do it that way. up my trim marks and I have I have to do this a little different than I normally would also because of the thickness of the notebook so let's make 
make sure that that's that. So I am going to leave the bleed intact on this. I'm not going to trim off my bleed. That's what I thought that it would be a little too wide. The notebook pages. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit. So this is our cover and it's going to fit on just like this. Here is the notebook. This is just a little pouch and pockets. I don't think it's supposed to fit a personal size. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon years ago couple of years ago so and I'm gonna put this on the second string from the front and there it is now I also have this that has some So I'm just going to swipe one clip from there to help hold this in place until, let's see if I can make this a little cuter. could probably also use an ollie clip on it. Let me use an ollie clip. Okay, so I have this black ollie clip that I think will work great on this. This can also help as serve as my page mark later and I'll go ahead I won't use the paper clip for now I'm not sure how I feel about not stapling this cover but I think it will be fine once I get all the other things in here so I also went ahead and cut out a folder and a double envelope double pocket envelope and I also use the buffalo clip art that's available in my shop to make a little page mark. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for this or for my, my arc system planner. If you saw my recent plan with me, the back page of this is horrible, but if you saw my recent plan with me, I'm using this little red arc notebook that I picked up from Staples. But I don't know if I want to use this for here or in that or maybe I'll make another one and use it in both. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put these together and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like with those added to the notebook.
Okay, so I've put pretty much everything I'm, I have available to put in here for now. I think I am going to come back with a blank notebook and or maybe a lined notebook just so I'll have some room for notes. But again, this is just for the month of December and things are really kicking off this week. I really wish I had a nutcracker image that I could use. I mean, I did buy a nutcracker, but I don't know if I want to photograph it and put that in here. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling out what I know is happening for this nutcracker season. One thing I wanted to do also is put a pocket here in the front. So looking for the pocket, I also found these washies this is that I washi samples that I purchased when I first started doing decorative planning so I'm gonna put those in here too and maybe go ahead and use them um, this is one of the self-adhesive clear pockets from the target dollar spot so I'm just gonna place that here from what I understand it does not ruin the leather and it can be removed so I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance with that and let's see let's put these washi samples in here I want that one to be on the front maybe I should put a pocket in the back too hmm I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that So the rest of the video will just be me filling in what I need to fill in in this insert. There's not too much going on in there. Just kept it simple. Your traveler's notebook doesn't always have to be um, stuffed full. And I'm sure I'll be adding things as I go. But for now, that's it. And I'll be working on this.
So this is where I am with the setup now. I've got the washi samples here so that I don't forget to use them. Um, here's the cover. My insides. This is the month so far. And I will go in and add the times. I just didn't really want to put that on camera. And here is this first week. And again, I will go in and put the times. I used these little Holly and Berry stickers to note dress rehearsals and then the Christmas balls to note performances. And then I kind of have some things blocked off with the times. Just, just getting started for the week. And then I did go ahead and add some stickers to all the pages in the week so that I can come back later and add the remaining information and so that's the setup for the week here is the back of the insert cover this is the folder the envelope which I haven't put anything in here yet but this is how it works that's like this and then this is just the pouch and the pocket and then here's the back pocket so that is it for the basic setup um, I will be filling in more information if you want to see the finished layouts make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will be posting those there if you like videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload also be sure to share the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye